The following is a paid program for Passionist Communications. Hi, and welcome to the Sunday Mass brought to you by the Passionist Community. I'm Father Edward Beck here at St. Malachy's in Midtown Manhattan. It is December 7th. It's the second Sunday of Advent. Our presider for today's Mass is Father Emery Cabal from the Democratic Republic of Congo, a Passionist who resides there and is visiting us. Our congregation, Our Lady of Perpetual Help from Pelham, New York. And our lector today is Renald Rameau. If you have the new prayer guide, please open to the second Sunday of Advent and let's begin celebrating together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. John is inviting us today to prepare the way of the Lord. Let us dispose ourselves to welcome that great God with a heart renewed. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us ad admittance to his company who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort. Give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the desert prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill shall be made low, the rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up onto a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Feel not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. 
He who comes with power, the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm, here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the youth with care. The word of the Lord. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims the Lord who proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your A reading from the letter of St. Peter. Do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like one day. The Lord does not delay his promise, as some regard delay, but he is patient with you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a mighty war, and the elements will be dissolved by fire, and the earth and everything done on it will be found out since everything is to be dissolved in this way. What sort of persons are you to be? Conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to his promise, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to, found, to be found without spot or blemish before him at peace. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written, written in the Isaiah, the prophet, Behold, I'm sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, 
makes straight his paths. John the Baptist appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist. He fed on locusts and wild honey. And this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thorns of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you, you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This reminds me of a missionary Nigerian priest who was sent in the northern part of Nigeria. For three years, that priest had been ringing the bell in the morning, at noon, and in the evening, inviting the people for prayer. But despite his efforts, no one was converted. Later on, for three consecutive days, people could no more listen to the sound of the bell. And people started wondering about what happened to the priest. And they found out that the priest was dead. From that time on, they started reflecting on the commitment and faithfulness of that priest who was always faithful to his mission, to his duty. From that time on, they asked for another priest to come and accomplish the mission. And the whole village got converted. Dear brothers and sisters, in virtue of our baptism, we are all instruments of God. We have to fulfill our duties despite the apparent failures. And let us not lose any opportunity to listen to God's words. And this time of Advent is an opportunity for us to listen to God's words and to take new commitments. Let us pray for that. With hearts longing for the coming of the Lord, we pause now in prayer for those in need. Our response is, come, Lord Jesus. For the church, that we will continue to be a place where the Lord will be revealed, especially in those places laid waste by war, famine, and disease. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Lord Jesus, that during this Advent season, we may remember the reason for the season and not be distracted by commercialism, greed, or unnecessary want. Let us pray to the Lord. Come, Amen. Lord Jesus. For the intentions of our benefactors, the intentions of our television parishioners placed next to the altar, and for Grace, Victor, Morris, and David Chelia, and for Miller Benjamin, for whom we pray in a special way at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. God, our Shepherd, come into our lives with your power to help, save, and defend us, and let us see your loving kindness in your Son, Jesus Christ, both now and forever. Christ is coming, prepare the way. Christ is coming, prepare the way. Christ is coming, 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 prepare the way. Christ is coming, prepare the way. Prepare the way.
are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, your Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our joy and the benefit of all this holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merit to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we will watch for that day, may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominations, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of Are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and handed willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was handed, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us weighty to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be, be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await for the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. To you.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. And thanks to you for joining us. Special thanks to Our Lady of Perpetual Help from Pelham for being here and Father Emery Cabal from the Democratic Republic of Congo for presiding for us today. Just a reminder, the Christmas letter is in the mail to you if you didn't receive it on the website at thesundaymass.org. And I want to remind you, most of you will be receiving the Mass on Christmas Day. You have to check your local listings, but I can tell you the one-hour Mass in the New York area will be on WOR Channel 9 from 8 to 9 a.m. and on WLNY Channel 1055 from 9 to 10 a.m. More on that next week. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you back here next Sunday to celebrate again. The preceding was a paid program for Passionist Communications.